How about this guy joining us now on the hotline? Uh, his name is Adam Enrique. Adam, <laughs> Boomer and Craig on the fan in the big city, baby. How you been, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. How are you guys? We're doing great, Adam. Listen, quite the rookie year for you. Uh, is the uh, Are the playoffs, I should say, these last two games with the Rangers, everything that you thought they were going to be? Uh, yeah, it's it's been quite the run so far. Um, you know, the playoffs, it's it's a different level of hockey, and, um, you know, it's it's the funnest time of year. You know, it's funny, uh, you guys obviously were very frustrated, specifically uh, uh, Mark Tambro Dora about how many shots the Rangers actually blocked in your attempts, you know, to, to score goals. And then, you know, your two big goals against them in game two came on your own deflections, Pascal uh, Lundqvist. How frustrated were you guys really after game one? And was there a game plan to do anything differently in game two as far as trying to either hold on to the puck longer and make the Ranger defenseman commit or did you guys really not discuss as much as we might think? Um, yeah, I think I think you guys talk, like think we analyze it a lot more than we do. But uh, you know they do they do a great job of blocking shots and um, but you know I think their D have done a great job throughout the whole playoffs of you know, getting pucks to that and and getting their getting around the, their shot blocking. So um, you know there's two two huge tipping goals for us and um, you know we just stuck with the game plan and kept pushing ahead. You know, I'm kind of interested as uh, <clears throat> we talked to Adam Henrique, the Devil Center. He's a rookie, uh, drafted out of the third round, you know, Canadian kid and all that stuff. You know, when you came down here and you were, you know, given the opportunity to play and make the team and everything, Adam, what was the, the, the sense that you got from the Devils players, the organization there, as to how big the rivalry is with the New York Rangers? Um, I've, I've kind of always known about it, but, uh, you know, once – once you get a chance to play in it, you realize how big it really is. And um, you know, obviously, you could tell through the whole year. Every time we played them, you know, there was always uh, some dramatics and, and uh, a couple fights to start the game. So those are, you know, they're always fun games to play. And um, you know, now I'm, I'm sure a lot of people wanted to see Devils Rangers in uh, you know in this series. And and the first two games have been a lot of fun. Yeah, they have been a lot of fun. You know, interestingly enough, I was reading up on you and your background. Weren't you uh, a teammate of Michael Delzato in the junior team? Um, we played uh, we played against each other in junior, and then we played uh, under seventeen together. Um, so I know him, I've known him for a few years. In now. Canadian, all the Canadians yeah, know, I know each other. But I'm just, you know just got to kind of uh, unique the fact that you know here are these two kids. They play in the other se- under seventeen team. They're not that far removed. From being on that team, you know, I think it's a bit cooler though. You come up as a rookie, and all of a sudden, when Zajac gets hurt, you're on a line with Parisi and Kovalchuk. That ain't bad for a kid, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, things worked out pretty good for me there. So let me ask you this: uh, Boomer's more the hockey guy than I am. We're talking to Adam Henrique, uh, the Devil Center, of course. He has two goals and six assists in this postseason. And for those of you that do follow it, he's up uh, for Rookie of the Year, the Calder Trophy, of course, which. Is- 